me. God. God. Damn it. He didn't come to interrogate the captured Phantom Thief. He came to kill him. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details <sighs> have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. It may be difficult to uncover his methods now. Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. It can't be. Look who's here. Oh. Hey, you big bastard. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together and talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll close shop early. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> and on to our next story, the snap election for the House of Representatives. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together! We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him! Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. He said, Shido-san. Shido? Feels like I've heard that somewhere. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? He said his speech was too loud. For real? It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this. Just based on the connections I had from my previous job. 
I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do, so I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So, I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Got a hit! Well, duh, it ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? Talk about small scale. Perhaps it's the Diet Building? We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? Hell yeah! Nobody against it? Of course! He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together! Time for revenge! Then it's unanimous! All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before Election Day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow, then? We can meet at the Diet Building after school. That reminds me. What are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose, outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff, too? We're intellectuals, you know. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. 
What frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you earned the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic, and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all... We had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side, until we... Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men, who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the Metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up, and they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs>
The time has finally come. Just a little more and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the Chosen One. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country, perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well, as well, things finally se acalmaram agora. Sua vida vai ser bem complicada a partir de amanhã, não é? Tem um pouco de descanso. O chefe tá certo. É melhor irmos deitar logo. Bom, parece que no fim, o verdadeiro traidor era o Aquete. Faz um tempo que eu não pude falar muito bem com vocês, mas... Eu espero que vocês tenham continuado comigo, mesmo após aquele clickbait do fim, dizendo que o vídeo tinha acabado e a série tinha acabado. Gente! Todo jogo tem um crédito, então por favor... Vocês tinham que saber que o jogo tinha crédito, enfim. Eu espero ver vocês no próximo episódio de Persona 5.